Hi everyone. I was out earlier in the week for a drive. I was out doing some errands using my power wheelchair to transport me. It suddenly started to rain and I ducked into a nearby church for some help. One of my friends works at a church in the area and they loaned me an umbrella from their lost and found bin. What I found was the umbrella was continually inverting, like going like this, instead of staying like this, in part because of the wind, and then secondly, in part because of the wind being pushed against it from the wheelchair moving forward. So I want to suggest to you, if you need to use an umbrella with your wheelchair, you either need to get one that has a heavier gauge ribs on the inside, the little bits of metal that go up to the top, or you could reinforce it yourself. What you could purchase is wood dowel that is wood that's been shaped in a cylinder very thin and just cable tie them onto the existing metal ribs in the umbrella so it'd be like joining it at the bottom and then joining it at the top to make it steadier so it can't you know invert in this direction there is also metal rod available I tend to think you'll find that the metal rod will be more expensive and the least expensive option will be using some wood just to double up on the inside of the umbrella. So why I'm bringing this up now is to encourage you to plan in advance for if you happen to find yourself in a rainstorm with your power wheelchair. I do want to mention to you that power wheelchairs have numerous bearings. Most of them are metal and they'll begin to rust in the rain. So you don't want to intentionally go out in the rain. You can buy bearings that have Teflon on them to help discourage rusting on the inside or for a significant price jump, you could also choose to have ceramic bearings. I found the ceramic bearings to be exceptionally more expensive than just the metal ones that are put into it. It depends on the size that your wheelchair uses. So I just want to encourage you to plan ahead. The final part of this is having a bag to put over your joystick to protect it. There's always electricity where your wheelchair plugs in to be recharged at night. So I want to encourage you to have a bag with your person either in like a little kit bolted to your wheelchair or maybe in a knapsack that you're carrying with you or maybe a bag could be stored on the back rest of your wheelchair and just bring it out when it's needed. Another option to protect the joystick is a shower cap, you know, what, what's used for hair. I just want to encourage you to plan ahead to avoid having damage happen to your wheelchair. Okay? I hope you're having a good day today. Bye for now.